This episode of Earth 911 TV is brought to you by Dell Reconnect, computer recycling made easy. 45% of the average family's energy bill is spent on heat. So in this episode, we're taking a look at smart thermostats to save a bundle. I'm John P. Welcome to Earth 911 TV. Way back in the 1990s, the U.S. federal government actually mandated that all new homes had to be equipped with programmable thermostats. That way, homeowners could program their systems to turn off when they were away from home and, you know, ease the burden on the power grid. But that didn't happen, because programming a thermostat is about as likely to happen as programming a VCR was in the 80s, which is to say, not. Never fear though, because a new crop of intelligent thermostats have arrived that are smart enough to make it super easy to set your schedule or even let the computer take over the process. Today, we'll take a look at three, the Ecobee 3, the Nest, and the Honeywell Smart Thermostat. So let's go in reverse order then, just for fun, shall we? Starting with the sub $200 Honeywell Wi-Fi Smart Thermostat. It'll handle residential or commercial applications, and after you tell it your temperature preferences, it learns how your system works and optimizes energy consumption. For example, it knows how long it takes to get to the temperature you want, and it can adjust the schedule accordingly. The Honeywell is probably gonna be more compact than your outgoing thermostat, so that means you should have the wall paint handy when you remove the larger old unit, so you can touch up any discoloration behind it that will otherwise appear when the Honeywell goes in. Although, to be honest, you shouldn't be doing the install yourself. Really, get an HVAC guy to do it, because one strength of the Honeywell offering is that it can control most any unit, but a downside is a more complex install. Once installed, though, you'll notice the Honeywell unit displays a ton of information right on the front touch screen, with layer upon layer of options and additional info to back it up. It spanks most any other controller in this regard, but if you're trying to let a technophobe work it, it might be a little intimidating. Honeywell's Wi-Fi smart thermostat is also remotely accessible via free web-based Android and iOS mobile apps. We've got seven of these controllers here in the Geek House, and we can manage all of them simultaneously through one app, which is very nice. Bottom line, if you're down for a slightly more complex install and user experience, the Honeywell is a very nice option. On the other end of the spectrum is the Nest Learning Thermostat. They claim that three out of four people install Nest themselves in 30 minutes or less. So, if you're shooting for the easiest possible install, this might be your best option right up front. One nice thing about the Nest is, although it's a tiny little round thermostat, it comes with a larger rectangular mounting plate to cover up the mess your outgoing thermostat leaves behind. One bad thing is that the Nest won't work with as many systems, so you can check nest.com forward slash works to see if yours is covered. If so, for $250, you'll be treated to a little computer that'll make decisions about what temperature your home should be set at. And you'll like it, mister. Seriously though, you kinda tell Nest where you want things for the first week or two, and then it should supposedly kinda take it from there. Which brings us to the Ecobee 3. Like the Nest, you're gonna drop $250 on it. But you might actually want to spend a little more. That's because the Ecobee is unique in that it comes with a remote sensor that not only allows the thermostat on the wall to know what the temperature is, but the remote sensor communicates back to the mothership to let it know what the temperature is where it's placed and also whether anyone is in the room with it. You can spend an extra $75 for every additional two pack of sensors you want and you can pair up to 32 of them with the base unit. So that would be another $1,200 worth of sensors or something like that. But the good news is that Ecobee will know if anyone or anything is moving in the house just like in the movie iRobot. But I digress. The strength of the Ecobee system is that if you happen to be sitting in a room that's too hot, it's gonna cool it down. And if you move to a room that's too cold, it's gonna warm it up. And if you leave the house altogether, it's gonna save power. But that's not all, because Ecobee can also communicate with your smartphone to find out when you're coming home to make sure it's nice and comfy when you arrive. Now that's smart. So, if you're looking to save a little money and you don't mind actually being even more comfortable while doing it, now you've got three great options. 
choose wisely. And let me know which one you get down in the comments. I'm John P. Thanks for watching. See you on the next Earth 911 TV.